Geigonomics. There was a man who went to a diner one time and the waitress walked up and said, what would you like to eat? And the man said, I would like a piece of pie. And the waitress said, oh, we have blueberry and apple pie. And the man said, I'll take blueberry, please. And the waitress said, okay. And then she came back a moment later and said, actually, we also have cherry pie. And the man said, well, in that case, I'll take the apple pie. That was a joke. That was a joke by David Corden mentioned. And it's to show the absurdity of human preferences. But also for the fact that preferences are can only be, as Murray Rothbard points out, demonstrated at the moment of action. So, as humans, we accumulate knowledge. And with the knowledge of the world that we learn, we create goals. And we act on our goals and our preferences. And those are the means to reach ends. And so, you have ultimate ends. And in the broadest sense, that is happiness. People want to reach a state of happiness, but if um, happiness can never be uh, fully achieved because once you reach an end, there is always action that occurs, and so you'll have your next set of goals, and you will use your means to reach your next goals, and so it's not that we ever reach happiness, but that happiness is the ideal and through each action we try to alleviate uh, our uneasiness in order to reach more satisfactory states of affairs and you have um, uh, you have your means and then you can also use um, I forget what the exact term is but anyways, this is just to demonstrate some of the methodology of Austrian economics, that we're not here to say uh, that human beings are rational or irrational. In volitional action, which isn't based off instinct, but based off your own conceptions and conceived ideas of what you want best, then, then people act. And one of the main pre uh, tenets of Austrian economics is that values are subjective to each individual. So what each individual demonstrates in their actions is their true preference for what they want in life. And this can be shown in anything, any activity you can think of where uh, action is demonstrated someone is revealing their preferences and so basically in the axiom of action when people develop goals they use they before they take the means to those ends they rank them and what I want to discuss today is ordinal and cardinal ranking and what this means is ordinal is like ordering. You're ordering in your preferences. Whereas cardinal is numerical, assigning numerical value to to um, your list. So uh, with ordinal ranking, let's take, for example, um, you know, uh, blueberries raspberries apples and cherries those are my favorite fruits my first favorite fruit is the blueberry and then i like apples then cherries then raspberries if someone were to take one of my fruits away i'd prefer that they take my raspberries because those are my least preferred fruit so in the scale of diminishing um 
or in marginal utility, I get the less amount, theoretically, of utility from the raspberries. They don't give me as much satisfaction or happiness as the blueberries do or the apples or the cherries. But this isn't to say that maybe in the future I'll find some newfound preference for raspberries and then I'll prefer raspberries to cherries or maybe even apples or maybe even blueberries if raspberries become my new favorite fruit. So this is a demonstration of ordinal utility and uh, ranking them. And even if we use the same homogeneous good as in units of water right if if we can divide water into units my first unit of water i'm going to use for consumption you need water to live so at the bare minimum i need to survive from drinking water now the next means that i can use with my second unit of water would be for bathing and this could be in a shower or a bathtub and then the third unit of water I can use is for washing my clothes and um, my fourth unit of water I could use for washing my car so in the scale of diminishing marginal utility what this means is that each additional unit of a good uh, in this case it's a homogeneous good water will give me less satisfaction than the previous unit of the good. So even if we threw in a fifth unit of water, let's just say I would use that for a fish tank. And I'd have some little fishies. But if someone were to remove two of my units of water, uh, let's just say they get taken from me, confiscated, what I would do if, if they took my first and second unit of water, I wouldn't necessarily give up drinking water and I wouldn't necessarily give up bathing what I would do on my personal because it is subjective to me to each individual on my subjective value uh, scale and um, according to my own diminishing marginal utility I would forego my fish tank and washing my car um, and this would be demonstrated in my actions I would act out uh drinking water and I'd act out bathing and I'd act out washing my clothes but I would not be able to act out washing my car and I would not be able to act out um uh creating a fish tank because I don't have the the resources to meet those ends so the means are not available to me at that time and this is again to demonstrate ordinal ranking in individual's preferences. Now, cardinal ranking is where the mainstream economics um, uh, it, it uses uh, in creating their diminishing marginal utility scales and on indifference curves, where on the x-axis you will have the 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 good itself and the amount, uh, the quantity of the good. And on the y-axis, um, you would have utils. And so this is how mainstream economists can create indifference curves uh, using utils. But if you look in the real world, this is why it is absurd. And this is why uh, the mainstream economists and the Keynesians are not um, accurate in what they teach and what they promote. Because it is impossible for an individual to say that he or she loves someone else in percentages comparatively to other individuals in the world. It, it is just subjective prefer preferences that allows someone to favor a specific individual over another individual. You would never say, I love my friend A 60% more than my friend B. And I love my friend B 40% more than my friend C. You can see the absurdity of this. But the issue is that the mainstream economists are able to use these uh, 700 level um, 
like these types of advanced mathematics in order to construct models and what these models allow is for intervening in the economy demonstrating that if we uh implement tariffs here and if we um put trade restrictions here then we'll increase the gdp in our country and it's very absurd um now going back to ordinal ranking once an individual again we're talking only at the individual level austrian economics um uh, foregoes macro economics in the sense that that we that the austrians discuss methodological individualism this is that individuals act and not any collective organizations act so when you know we hear the usa invaded iran it's not necessarily that the country itself invaded or if if for a better example would be the usa dropped bombs on uh japan it's not that the usa itself did that but some individuals in maybe the capital pushed some buttons and some other individuals flew some planes and some other individuals pulled levers that dropped bombs uh on japan but there was people that were killed it's not japan that was killed it was people so this is very important now going back to to goals um at the individual level from the knowledge we obtain we create these goals in our mind and then we rank them ordinarily depending on our our uh our on our means to get there and we weigh them out okay maybe i want to be a doctor or a lawyer but this requires x amount of years of school and time for studying and actually um my will isn't that strong enough to get those levels of profession i'd much rather go to a restaurant and enjoy the company of my friends instead of studying um so you have your means those are demonstrated in action and with the scarcity of your resources uh you will efficiently allocate them to your highest desired preferences it's it's uh it's as natural as nature can be and that is how ordinal ranking um occurs in the axiom of action thank you <laughs>